This episode is a significant improvement over the season opener. In fact, it more or less feels like the opener done right in my opinion. It meets most of my expectations going in, but it really doesn't exceed them. Except for that bucking fight scene. That exceeded all expectations. However, I was a little underwhelmed by the characterization and development. Before you flood my comments with rage, <laughs> let me just first say this is a great two-parter. Unarguably the best season opener or closer since Cancel Our Wedding. It was edited together in a logical manner, had an interesting villain, and had the rest of the main six have an actual input in the final battle. Not to mention we also got a glorious fight. Not just by MLP standards, but coming from an avid anime fan like myself, I can just say the fight was just smashing good. Yeah, that was a bad pun, but this fight deserved that level of cheesy recognition. However, I feel I need to highlight some flaws I found that I don't want to be ignored in the upcoming nerdgasms over this episode. One is in the framing conflict of, oh, I'm a princess, but I feel like I'm not doing anything. <sighs> this is so Mary Sue, it's just sickening. This is painfully overused trope in fiction to just try adapt the, the perfect characters by being like, yes, they are smart, powerful, and morally straight arrows, but they have personal problems too. Looking back, I've come to believe the Princess Twilight arc that has stretched over two seasons in a movie was hindered by MLP's episode structure. Essentially, if this would have been an anime, it would have been a continuous half-season arc, around 13 episodes, or a full season max. MLP has a sandwich approach to narrative that has the big episodes at the top and bottom of the season and slice of life episodes in between. This structure put a lot of filler between the arc's narrative components that should have been resolved sooner. I feel if MLP had a big narrative episode near the season's center, it would help also in the future relieve some of the narrative pressures that sort of have drug out this arc so long. There are other flaws that annoyed me about the episode that sort of kept it from being one of my best episodes ever, in my opinion at least. One is the fight choice. I'm sort of annoyed after Twilight's epic smackdown, Tark is defeated by the traditional friendship beam. It would have been much more epic if the final battle had all the superpowered main six taking him on as a team. You know, give them more importance before the last five minutes only to help superpower Twilight for the friendship beam. Discord's action is also felt Flawed. I don't mind that he was turned evil again, sort of, but he seemed rather dumb about it and too easily tricked by Tarak. Throughout the episode, I sort of kept the idea that he was actually sort of tricking Tarak back, but he wasn't, and he sort of got treated very dumbly. Not to mention, as I noted long ago, that if the season did not explore Fluttershy and Discord's friendship, then it would be a rather big negative, and this episode did little to help that. Yes, yes, there's a nod here and there, but there's no real interaction. Also, I'll be honest, the songs did not do it for me. Yes, we got to see the princesses singing together, including Luna for once, but this is nowhere near as good as the songs in Cancel Out Wedding or Magical Mystery Cure. Yes, I just complimented Magical Mystery Cure. Look, I'm not denying this is a good episode. In fact, it's a great episode. Epic in terms of action. However, in terms of characterization and development, this episode felt rather flat to me. It was there, but not as good as a series can do. The finale reminded me a lot of my feelings towards Sword Art Online's original Season 1 ending. No, not the trash that followed, but the original good season. The action and fights are amazing, but the characterization is sort of hollow. See, I watch MLP for the characters, not the action. I'm an anime fan, trust me I can find action in animated form. <laughs> I just wish the episode would have had a better narrative wrapping than Twilight warned about her royal duties and gave more focus to her interactions with her friends. That is why I watched this show, and that just shows specialty and strength. Now with Rainbow Power, I hope the rest of the main six get to shine once more, and we get to move past the Twilight is a Destined phase. Keep calm and an open mind. I am Lord.